Asari Dokubo, former militant or still a militant, is in a big mess, big trouble right now as he has been flaunting weapons, flaunting his own private militia. In fact, there was a time he bragged saying that he sneaked in some of his militia to the federal capital territory, Abuja, and he said he has a camp there. He said he's ready to go face to face, head on with the Nigerian army. He said the Nigerian army is nothing and that they are nobody. He said uh, a lot of things and there are divergent views as regards to some are saying, why will Asari Dokubo do this? Why should he do this? While well, some are saying, why not? If you go to the north of Nigeria, don't you see AK-47 rifles and a lot of weapons being displayed by bandits and terrorists? So why can't he, in the south-south of Nigeria, demonstrate all of his own grievances this way? Well, I don't know what your own thoughts are about this world. Asari Dokubo probably is um, acting and behaving this way due to some undisclosed business or association that he has with the present um, president of nigeria pola ahmed Tunumbu. well asari dokubo probably might be looking for contracts in the creek he could uh, want to be the eye of the government in the creek and we know what they do both the nigerian military and the other non-military personnel and also the creek boys as they call them they are all criminals they are all looking for ways to um, get access to the crude oil and many other things that they do governor fubara of river state is one of those who is saying that this must come to an end he said what kind of nonsense is this how can this guy how can this man come out publicly recording himself speaking in such a manner as if there is no government he has called on the military personnel, the head of the military personnel attached to um, River State to take action. Rivers to take action. He said this must come to an end. Let us let, let us quickly hear what um, they all have to say. Put on well, made them see up, made them yara. Same, if they went uh, in the canoe put 100 million bounty for a Oga head. There's a poor one here, so we can help you. That I know get mad to talk. We have the capacity to turn rivers in upside down. But we did not do it. They read the election, it's in government house. The person where they beat that drum with her. <laughs> Make it you know. The wood where they be drunk, the stick where they can't be drunk. Sometimes they break. Oh. We don't look for in trouble or make himself, we don't look for our trouble because if we look for our trouble, in go. If we look for our trouble, in go do what? Under the constitution of Nigeria, whether it be governor or it be anything, we call to ram. You know, be anybody. He's just an ordinary citizen like Dr. Fari. The giant strike, and it shows that he's uh, building seriously on the already solid foundation that has been laid by the former governor, His Excellency Barista Nyeso Muki. So, congratulations, sir. Our pledge to you is that the Nigerian Army will continue to support all your activities within limited resources available to us. I will continue to support your government. I will continue to cooperate with you. I will continue to be there all the time for you, sir. Thank you very much for your attention. I will remain blessed, sir. In a country like this, a country of ours, where law and order should be observed, that people can parade arms before Nigeria Army. There is a camp somewhere in Degema somewhere. It is a base, a military base. And people parade arms around there. I want to ask, is it that our law has allowed individuals to start showcasing AK-47 or 48, whatever they call it, I'm not used to it. Has our law gotten to that point that people can brandish arms before military people and you don't do anything about it? I really want you to look into that. It's an insult 
to the states and also insult to the federal government of Nigeria. You need to work on that. It's important that we understand that this is a keg of gunpowder. Absolutely. This is a terrorist organization brewing. We have to nip it in the bud. The okay. video is out there. Uh, yes. Asari calls himself Dr. Asari. Yeah. I don't know where he got his PhD from. <laughs> All kinds of people call themselves a doctor. But he was quoting the constitution. He's quoting so, the constitution wrongly. <laughs> Dr. Asari, as he calls himself, is not equal to the governor I don't understand of River that. State. For example, the governor of River State has immunity under section 308 of the constitution and is governor of the state. Does uh, Dr. Asali, as he calls himself, does he have immunity under the constitution? That's one slight difference that I think we should uh, point out to educate people yeah. uh, who may be speaking Absolutely. out of ignorance. Absolutely. In fact, the video is out there. They I have mean, not gone I after... Mean, no state Asari actors and, and ex-militants like this will not have the chance if only our government is responsive and stops things like this. Absolutely. But you see, the DSS Good. will never see this one. Mm. And that's why it's enjoying its turn. Turn by turn. Turn by turn. Asari Dokubo has vowed that he's going to take out that governor, the governor of Rivers. And not just that alone, he said he's also going to deal and take out Wiki. Asari Dokubo, in his many words, I don't know if it is all true, but he's saying it and there's nobody that is saying it is not true. He said that the Nigerian uh, military could not protect FCT and the Kaduna Expressway and whatever expressway. He said the federal government, in fact, he said Buhari had to contract him to secure and that he and his crew secured that particular part. He said the Nigerian military are corrupt and that they are nobody that if not for the uniform and the backing of, this, of the government, the backing of the federal government, the backing of the state, ammunition and weapons given to them. He said, who are they? That they are nothing. What have they seen that he has not seen? What, has they, what have they seen that his own men have not seen? He said a lot of things. And also... Um, he talked about his grievances with uh, IPO Binam, the Kano, and the Eastern Security Network, and many other things that um, he has been talking about. But uh, a lot of people are wondering why Asari Dokubo has the audacity to come out to speak in such a manner, and nothing is done. Asari Dokubo visiting Bola Metunumbu, shaking hands and taking pictures, indicates, shows that is in the corridor of power although you might call him a non-state actor but asari dokubo somehow as a the same way as um former opc leader um uh, gani adams it is the same the same that they do it's just that once in a while they fall out of the government in power and sometimes they fall in also depending on um, who they can liaise with gani adams also did this during Guloke Bele Jonathan era. Although he wasn't out and uh, talking in, although he said what he could say too, but uh, we know that Asari Dokubo is a man who speaks a multitude of words. He says a lot of words. He has also experienced his own hard time. He has done what he needed to do to create a niche for himself. Now, if you observe um, um, the parts and location where the governor is talking about, the newly elected governor is talking about, you realize that Asari Dokubo's um, boys are in charge of that particular location. And the report we heard, I don't know how true it is, is that they collect tolls, they collect tax, they tax those people, the same kind of uh, characteristics that you'll find among bandits in the northern part of Nigeria who will go into the farms and... Uh, you know do a lot of terrible things you need to pay them before you are you need to pay them before you so and stuff like that according to this governor the location that is mentioning and not saying directly but cryptic mentioning of activities he is saying this to the military saying that they should take action and he said there is a military base not so far away from these places why is this happening how could this happen why are this group of people gathering themselves well asari dokubo publicly without fear 
said the Nigerian army are criminals, they are thieves, they are this and that, they are rogues, they are in charge of the terrible things that are happening on our roads and also at the creek. I'm not saying what Asari Okupo is saying is not true. Like I said at the beginning, the Nigerian army or the military in general, the executive or let us say the non the, the, the non-military personnel it could be the executive it could be senators it could be any committee coupled with uh asari dokubo's boys or whoever the creek boys as they call them they are all looking for what they can steal kill and destroy that's all that's all they are all about and nothing more it's just that at a particular time you will hear one group speaking in a manner that uh, will appeal to your ears you might say oh yeah he's saying the truth yeah at times they say the truth but that does not mean if you put them there they will not do worse now the question is this how is this going to go down well with bola Ahmed Tunubu's government since he's the commander-in-chief of the armed forces and uh, he knows that there are a lot of corrupt forces and he has won them when he stepped in he said whoever anybody that is going to truncate that is going to stifle work against his government one way or the other because he knows the pattern he knows how they work you keep pumping money into the military you get no result he knows how these things work he said anyone whoever does this will be dealt with did bola metunubu put in or allow asari dokubo to create a new dimension to ruffle feathers so that uh, certain truth or certain things will be revealed I don't know what will become of Asari Dokubo. Maybe, maybe um, the many toes that he's stepping on, bad toes, very horrible toes. I don't know if they will want to come after him or not. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.